All right, so how long does it take to actually learn how to code? Is it one month, three months, six months, one year, 10 years? And is the time frame the same for everyone? And this book here, it's called Outliers by Malcolm Gladwell. He says, researchers have settled on what they believe is the magic number for true expertise, which is 10,000 hours. In study after study of composers, basketball players, fiction writers, ice skaters, concert pianists, chess players, and even master criminals, that number comes up again and again. But it also says, this doesn't address why some people get more out of their practice sessions than others do. Now, the thing is, this book has been heavily debated, and the idea of the 10,000 hour rule is in a hard rule. But in this video, we're not talking about mastery of coding. We're not talking about becoming the next top 1% coder. What I am talking about is how long does it take to actually learn how to code? Again, is it one month, two months, three months, six months, one year? What is the time frame? All right, so this kind of brings me back to a saying that's well known in poker, especially in Texas Hold'em. It takes five minutes to learn, but a lifetime to master. All right, so if you want to know a little bit more about me in terms of hobbies, you probably already know I like playing chess a lot, but before chess, poker was my favorite game. And that quote pretty much encapsulates the idea that you could learn the basics or the fundamentals of pretty much anything in a very short time frame. But in order to understand the nuances, the complexity, Cities, and to get a deeper understanding of how something works, how a game works, or how programming works, or pretty much anything. That takes significantly more time. And learning to code, learning to program is no different. Now, it's probably going to take you a little bit more than five minutes to be able to set up your developer environment and to learn the basics and the fundamentals of a programming language. But most high-level languages are not really that complicated in terms of the fundamentals. You're going to learn the rules, the syntax, the structure, the concepts, and all that stuff you can get a good understanding of it within about a month. You're going to learn about variables, data types, you'll learn about functions, you're going to learn about the conditionals, you learn the basic operators, you learn about operator precedents. Now that part might take a little bit longer, especially with the conditional component, but if you remember PEMDAS, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction, those rules hold true for a lot of programming as well. And while this book does talk about 10,000 hours, let's break that down to hours per day. Let's say you commit to two to three hours per day of coding. We have 365 days out of the year, but really, Realistically, you're not going to spend every single day coding. So just for a very basic rough estimation, if you're doing two to three hours a day, that translates to about 1,000 hours per year. And that's also why the 10,000 hour rule translates nicely into about 10 years. So the goal is two to three hours per day. And again, this is mostly for high level languages like Python, JavaScript, PHP, and others that are written in a way that's easier for people to understand. And what I want to do in this video is give you a basic understanding and an outline on how you should structure your learning process. Now, everybody's different. Everybody learns differently. Some people have natural talent with a strong work ethic and that means they'll probably learn this a whole lot faster. But that's not the average person. The average person is going to have to invest a little bit more time. And that's fine because we have all the tools that we need in order to learn how to code. So within your first three months, you're going to learn the basics. You're going to learn the fundamentals. You're going to start wrapping your head around the concept of programming. And in general, if you dedicate about six months of really good studying in terms of like two to three hours per day, maybe you do it for five days a week, then generally in about six months, you're going to see significant significant improvements in your understanding of code. And if you continue at that pace of learning, what's going to happen is that after 12 months, you should be job ready, at least for an entry level position. So the basic timeline is about six to 12 months in order to get a strong grasp of how to program. And again, the first month, is going to be the basics and the fundamentals. By the second to third month, you're going to start getting a better understanding of loops and conditionals and functions and data types. And this is where you'll start learning the very basics of algorithms. And by the time you get to the fourth and sixth months, you're going to probably start learning more advanced algorithms. Not highly advanced ones, but you're going to learn the very basics. You'll probably start working on more complex projects. And you're going to notice that you're going to be able to solve problems easier with code. That's when things start to come more naturally to you. Again, it's like anything. You're going to start off, it's going to be rough, it's going to be tough. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be a walk in the park. You're going to get frustrated in the beginning. You're going to feel like giving up. You're going to tap out. You're going to think about ringing that bell. But if you can get through those first couple of months, if you can put in the time and the effort and make it a habit to code every day, you're going to notice that by six months, you're going to be there. You're going to start really understanding how to code. And at this point, if you really want to take it seriously, I think you should start committing a little bit more than just three hours a day. 
I know it's hard because we all have different lives, right? We have responsibilities, we have realities, we have things that we like to do and have to do. But the question is, how badly do you want it? How badly do you want to learn to code? If it's something that you kind of want to do, then you're going to put kind of a little bit of effort into it and you're not going to get really that far. But if it's something that you really want deep down inside, something that you really want to do, then you just have to put in the time. And by the time you hit the seventh month and on to the twelfth month, you're going to start learning more complex topics. You're going to learn about databases. You're probably going to learn about more advanced algorithms. You're going to get a deeper understanding of the different data structures you're going to work with. If you're using OOP, object-oriented programming, you're going to learn more about design patterns. And it's by this point that you'll start developing more complex and full-fledged applications. And again, you got to remember that in the book Outliers, it does talk about 10,000 hours to master something. It equates to about 10 years, and that equates to about 1,000 hours per year. So if you follow this plan that I've given you over here, it's a very basic plan, but the structure is what matters about being able to set aside in the beginning two to three hours just to get warmed up to the idea of coding. But by the sixth month, you really should be at about four hours or more per day. And then make sure you're using good resources. I have to emphasize the fact that you have to choose your resources wisely. Now, it would be great to have somebody there with you at all times to be able to say, this is how you do this and someone that you could bounce ideas off of. Having a mentor could really help you out along the way. But if you're doing this by yourself, if you don't have the funds in order to hire somebody or if you don't have the ability to go to a boot camp, well, there's no reason for you to get left behind because we have the resources. We have books. We have artificial intelligence. We have Google. We have Stack Overflow. We have YouTube. And we have all the other online communities where you can learn how to code. But basically, it comes down to your structure. It comes down to your ability to make this a habit. And I mentioned in another video that you shouldn't get caught up in tutorial hell. And the reason is because you can take tutorial after tutorial after tutorial but if you're not practicing what you're learning by building something new something different you're not really exercising your brain you're not really pushing yourself to really learn to think like a programmer i say that in all my videos about thinking like a programmer and it kind of sounds cliche but the reality is that you have to be a good problem solver and you have to know how to use your tools and what's the best tools for the project you're working on what's the best editor what's the best ide and what's the best programming language framework and library you should use. But wait a minute, Joel, I've heard of people being able to master code within three months. Well, I'm here to tell you, unless you're a savant and you get so obsessed with code, I don't see how that's even possible, even with a savant. For that, you would have to have some type of aedic memory where you completely remember everything. But even if you remember something perfectly, doesn't mean you know how to apply it, right? Just being able to regurgitate something doesn't mean you fully understand and grasp it. So if somebody tells you, yeah, I mastered coding in three months, that ain't true. All right, so to take away from this video, how long does it take to actually learn how to code? Again, you learn the basics, the fundamentals within that first three months, the basics. And then you start leveling up from there. You get a better understanding of the programming concepts. You're working on small projects. You're reverse engineering other code that's out there. And you're starting to see and you're starting to feel like it's coming more naturally to you. And if you continue at a good pace, if you continue studying for two, three hours in the beginning and up to four hours or more by the time you hit six months, you're going to notice by the 12th month, you're going to start feeling ready to get a job. Again, not a senior developer job, but an entry level job. We got to start somewhere. And throughout the course of 12 months, you're going to have gone from not knowing how to code to being job ready. And then that's where your journey begins. Because once you're job ready, once you actually get the job, there's still so much more for you to learn. But at that point, you should already have a solid foundation. All right. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification icon. If you have any thoughts, comments, or suggestions, leave them down below. And as always, thanks for watching and happy coding.